All right, my children, welcome back. We are down in the dungeon, and we are trying to figure out what the best way to deal with these jerks is. Let's just walk over here and all right, let that one notice me. Get stuck on the wall, because that's always important. See if she prances on over here. Come on. There we go, we got one of them coming. Alright, one down. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's like six more. Alright, she's coming. Now that one's down. Now once you get a couple of them gone, um, there are a couple of non-kill-them-all types of options here. I'm actually going to go ahead and run over here. So once you're in this room, you got a bunch of these big, big head, baby-looking dudes. I don't know what they're called. Ow. actually got a weapon. Alright, another coal. Kill that one. Kill this one. Alright, that clears this room out. Um, if you want to make a run for it, there is a room on the other side at the end of the hallway that has one of the crucified werewolf beasts in it, and I believe that if you let that werewolf beast out and then run away, basically, that it will attack them. So that might be a thing to consider. Go ahead and flee again. See if she follows me. Like, the main thing is that you want to be just kind of slow and systematic about it. And you want to make it to... The ultimate goal is not to kill them all, actually. The ultimate goal right now is to make it to the bonfire that is beyond them. Um, so that you don't have to make the run back every now, you know, every single time. Um, because this is the way I play, you know, I've talked about this, I like to kill everything once if I can. Um, but, you know, it's not like the game requires you to do that. So, so far though, we're in decent shape. Let's get this one to notice me. Alright. Come on over. Definitely noticed me because he took some health away. Actually, surprised I managed to kill that many of them before one of them got a health poke on me. You know what? We're just gonna. Oh no! Now we're being stupid. Okay. This is exactly what I just said not to do. Didn't follow me. <laughs> Alright, we'll hang out here until I get that back. Alright, there's four left. Oh, come on. Ah, 
Alright, now there's two left. Alvaset over here in the corner. Ember. All right, got them all. Okay, so let's show you a couple of things then. Go ahead and grab this ember as well. I think that's... Oh, there's one more in here. I'll wait for my health to come back and then I'll go take it down. All right. So down here at the end of this hallway is... And we can't get it open yet, but this is where Carla is. You can see her kind of in the distance. Um, those pyromancies that um, dude didn't want anything to do with. Uh, we'll find a key to get Carla in a bit. And once you've got that key, you can let her out and she will give you the rest of the pyromancies. This is my dude who I said you could unleash. And you can turn him loose on them if you want to. Um, nothing in here, so unless you just want the souls for killing him, you don't necessarily have to worry about it. And then if we run over here... I don't think there's anything in here with these. More ashes... Don't panic about that. That's just another screamy soul. And then... God, forgot what I grabbed. Um, what was that? Is it a ring? The Dust Crown Ring. Okay. So, it reduces spell FP consumption, but also lowers hit points. So, if you're a caster... I have not used that ring on my caster builds, but you never know. You might want to. Um, now, this room over here... Actually, wait a minute. Oh, I get it. Okay, so this is the second door into this area. And then this is a mimic. Psst. Oh, come on. Okay. Alright, and that clears out this room, um, but does not clear out this area. We still have a couple more things we want to get. We haven't killed the giant yet, for example. But before we do that, we're going to head down here. And we're going to hit this bonfire. Bonfire is not actually right here. we got a little bit farther to go. Soul item. Is there anything else floating around in here? No. Um, as soon as we run across, or start trying to run across this bridge here, we're going to have a demon attack us. Back up. Don't fight him on the bridge if you can avoid it. Oh, I staggered him. Wow. Sometimes he will drop his spear. Um, it's a pretty rare drop, but it is possible. Alright, so come on in here. Drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. 
And at this point, effectively, um, we're past the jailers. We're going to go ahead and head back and finish off that room that had the giant in it. But here's our bonfire and a new gesture and another undead bone shard. Whose body is this? This is somebody. Um, not sure who this is. Back to Firelink for right now. Probably just one. Welcome, Husby. Very well, then Tuckhaken. Yeah, about 6,000 short of a second level, so... Go ahead and get that extra endurance, though, and then let's give her the ashes. Just looking to see if anything jumps out. I was going to look into a new armor set, wasn't I? Oh, the Xanthus set definitely came through. Um, all right. Ashen one. Beesh. Go ahead and give him the coal. Ah, just what neat. Lords, where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame, and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? And then, so at this point, you can infuse with, I think, basically whatever you want. So we've got heavy, sharp, refined, raw, crystal... Simple, fire, chaos, lightning, blessed, deep, dark, blood, poison, and hollow. And I think that's all of them. There might be maybe one more coal but out there someplace, but I think that's all of them. And don't forget to burn the undead bone shard. Takes your flasks up to plus eight. And then... Oh man, I'm trying to remember. I feel so. I feel like I've missed something in the Urethil dungeon because again, we didn't kill the giant, and we also never got that second shortcut. We could take one more pass through, just to make sure. Because this should be. I don't think you can get to that from the profaned capital. Um, I did figure out that one key that we don't have that I was wondering about. Um, there actually is one more spot with... Uh, um, what's his name? God. Forgetting all my names again. There's one more spot with Onion Bro. Um, so we've still got that to do. Um, and that key will get you into the cell that he is in so that you can free him for the final time 
And this time it really is the final time. It's not just me being like, well, I think it's the last time. Ow! Would you stop that? And you also need to stop timing your arrows while I'm swinging at your friends. Alright, so we got a million of these guys to kill again. This is why we made sure to open that up. <laughs> now we can just sort of sit and rest and forget about him for a minute. He'll go back to sleep. I know I said not to do that before, but sometimes I tell lies. Alright, I don't want to jump down there. So what I want to do right now is I want to head back up, right? Might be about to get myself into a little bit of a mess with the, uh, with these guys. Luckily, two swings kills him. If I want to get super aggressive about it, that'll be okay. As long as I don't get surrounded. Alright, that's all of them. So now we'll head back over to this one. And drop down. And... Oh, let's see here. No, because there's that door right there. Oh no! Alright. Well, that's not how I wanted to do this, but... I mean, we're down here. Alright, so once you've taken care of the rats, I think the rats will actually keep coming. Um... May as well go ahead and rid ourselves of the giant. Oh, bring me your foot. Almost got him. Alright, giant's down. Pick up all the goodies. The rats are just going to keep coming. The rats are basically endless, I think. Um, but yeah, pick up all the goodies that are dropped down here. Make sure you don't miss anything. Profane Flame is a spell. Uh, we're going to head up here real quick. I know there's still a little spot back there that I missed. Okay. Mimic. Oh my god, he killed me. <sighs> That's embarrassing. Alright, well, we're doing it again.
Not sure what the deal is. Like, that's not curse gas, so I don't know why they do that. Oh, I got lucky there. Did lose a little bit of my health, but... So now that the giant is down, I don't really have to deal with the minions up here. I just fall down here, grab this, and One thing that I am going to do that is going to make me a little bit smarter is I'm temporarily going to replace this one with the silver cat ring. And drop. Oh, no damage at all. Nice. Dodge that. He's going to try and grab me again. Oh, no, he's not. Got him. That's how that's supposed to go. Pick this item up. Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrows. And then there's a ladder over here. This delivers me where? Doorway right there. Just double checking. Oh, okay. All right. So that answers a question, actually, because there was basically, I'll show you where this, I'll show you where this empty, empties out to um, in a bit. And the answer is yes, I can come back around to this. So we didn't necessarily have to go this way at this particular junction, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. 23 minutes, we're fine on time. All right, now we're going to run over here. And we're going to activate this. See, okay, I didn't miss any treasure or anything. And now this is going to be our shortcut. There we go. And now we're going to head back to the profane capital. Alright, so from here, let's see... You can get the demon to keep attacking if you want. Um, there's a few more. God, vertigo from this perspective. Don't want to jump down there. Um, 
Sorry, just thinking through this real quick, trying to figure out what the best way to show you what to do is. There's a couple of goodies that you can grab, but we're going to push forward real quick. Another uh, demon's going to jump here. Just let him jump over you. Because this is like Yorm's area right here, so... Ah, oh, man, shoot, I keep forgetting stuff. Ow! Jerks. This is what I get for trying to combine a let's play and a guide without, like, taking notes first. Which would be a much smarter way to approach all this. Um, so alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go back down right here. Because I am missing some stuff. Let's go out this way. that right there too okay okay this is the direction I wanted to go can head down there if I want we're gonna go this way Oh, he dropped his flame hammer! I'm so excited! Alright, now we're gonna go up here real quick. And then this lets us get these rusted coins that have been sitting here. Alright, so if you want to, you can proceed directly to Yorm. Um, we're gonna head over and check out this side area real quick first because we need to do not be fooled by that guy by the way there's a hole in the ground right there um, we need to make sure that Sigurd is available for the Orm fight and you have to rescue him one more time um, important to try and get him off into the corner because all kinds of Nasty drama can happen if you don't. I believe there's a hole in those stairs right there. And make sure you will not go back and show you the hole because he'll run up and he'll just trap you in it and it's all sorts of nasty. Yeah, so there's that right there. That's where he'll go and you'll fall and it will be bad. Alright, but what we want to do is we want to head this way. And this is what I wanted to see. Okay. Will not surprise you to learn that this is poisonous underneath us. Or is it poisonous or is it toxic? They just gave us purple moss clumps. Try and stay on the land. You won't have a choice for all of it. But... Okay, now that's... 
that's toxic, I think. So, what we're going to do is we're going to switch our rings back again. Is it just poison resistance? Again, I think that's toxic. And now we get both. Okay, no, that's definitely toxic then, because otherwise the ring wouldn't have... Alright. I'm going to put the ring we had back on then. And we are also going to put the blooming clumps in our inventory. And we're going to head this way. We're going to get infected. There's no way around it. Just watch your health. Because toxic works a lot faster than poison does. Poison gem. Curse bite ring. Ah, well, doesn't matter, I'm already infected. Top off your health as often as you need to. So what we're going to do, we're at 32 minutes, we're going to go ahead and um, find Sigurd for the last Siegfried, Sigurd, Sigmeier, whichever Sig he is, Onion Bro, uh, for the last time before Yorm, and then we will call it an episode at that point, and then Yorm will be the next episode. So you're going to head up here. Uh, there is interesting stuff to do in this building. Uh, we will save that for later because it's also kind of a nightmare. Heal your toxic. Stick to the edge here. Head up here. Okay, so that little doorway... I gotta take care of this guy. Ow! There we go. Jeez. Alright. So the doorway that we came through, was it this one or was it the one? We're going to run, we're going to jump, end up in here, go up the stairs. There's our boy. Let him out. Ah, oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express Siegfried. my deepest gratitude. Again. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Titanite slab. Ah, no, I've my own road to take, and a duty to fulfill. Very soon. Ah, no, I am. All right, so grab this covetous gold serpent ring, which I think actually is better than my current silver serpent ring. Oh no, more likely to drop items, so I'm gonna keep what I got. I'm surprised I've kept that on the whole game. I don't normally keep that ring for forever, but something about this build. Um, so we are gonna stop for right now. Um, Yorm will be during the next episode. There's probably one more re or one more. Uh, trip to Firelink coming. Actually, definitely one more trip to Firelink coming. But uh, if you're having fun, leave a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends. I will see you soon with more. Thank you so much for watching.